Here we go, Contenders 29, main card time. Farid Basharat, 5 and 0, oh, fighting out of London Shoot Fighters in the grey shorts. And he's oppo his opposite number, Marco Zanetti, the heavily tattooed on the chest. Zanetti in the white shorts, fighting out Hung Mung in Rome. Here we go, someone's O's got to go, and we're about to find out who, Dean. Watch for Basharat to use his elusive footwork and his, oh, low calf kicks. They're going to lead to start damaging the footwork of Zanetti. That was a beautiful low kick to start off with. He's got a huge range of kicks, Basharat. He can throw spinning stuff, he can throw some really solid technical ticks as well as we saw there with the low calf kick, so popular in MMA these days. Mark Heath, Dean Midhat, so happy you're here with us. Live around the world, Contenders 29. And what a main card we have for you. Here we go, we're just getting going. As these two top, top prospects. There's another nice low calf kick there from Basharat Dean. He's landed two of those in the early going. He started out in Taekwondo and really has evolved his game for MMA. That, that he carries insane, insane flexibility that allows him to be really tricky and control the fight. Your switch stance is already reddening the nose of Marco Zanetti. He's landed a nice kick to the body as well off the switch with the left kick. So Fabio Basharat warming up nicely to his cast. There's the low calf kick again, Dean. Zanetti's trying to pressure. But he's struggling to land a glove thus far on the precociously talented Farid Basharat. Yeah, Zanetti chooses to keep this one standard. He has a very fast and powerful one-two combination, but it's going to be very difficult to get that close to Basharat. You could see Zanetti opt to take this fight to the ground. That's surely where he wants it with his grappling background. As I say, BJJ Purple Belt. He's also the head coach of the Eagle fight team. So he's got a lot of his students probably watching here tonight. As he's pressing forward. Let's talk about the pressure as well. Like, I mean, this is a big show. We just announced we're going to America um, to perform in this crowd live across the world, not just in the UK, in America and across the globe. There's a lot of pressure for these athletes and you've got to take that into account as well with the weight cuts, the training, the travel, and you've got to add the pressure on the shoulders. How well do they, do they uh, you know, deal with that? Man, these guys are so quick. And there we go. Zanetti's wife, that calf kick this time, steps away. Look at Basharat, man. He's a box of tricks. He's in faint stance changes. Zanetti's just trying to ball forward there. Nice low kick from Zanetti there. Trying to slow down those dancing feet of Farid Basharat. Inside low kick from Basharat. Oh, nice right hand left. Knee again. Beautiful work. Great Basharat. work from Basharat, he just exploded there, Dean, you yeah. said he can. He, he smells blood and he goes in and he retracts as well. If the guy's not bleeding enough, he'll retract and make you bleed more. Massively explosive strike, he landed the right and the left, and now he trips Zanet, he takes him to the ground, and yeah. says, get back up, baby. He's this standing, smart play from Basharat. That's the fight IQ we were talking about earlier on. He's not going to get into a ground war in the top position or indeed in the bottom position. He wants to keep this fight standing and consolidate this information, use his footwork and land that killer blow. Look how relaxed he is in there, Dean. He's smiling, bouncing back and forth. Beautiful stuff from Farid Basharat. He's got a background in points fighting, which means he tends to be extremely accurate with the strikes. And he's certainly been accurate so far. Nice right hand. Oh, Basharat goes to the floor. Was he rock there, Dean? You can see from the camera angle here, but Zanetti saw him forward and bleeding from the nose from Zanetti. I think it was just a stumble there from Basharat. Didn't quite see it because of the angle. I think it was just a stumble. Zanetti's got to try and read the footwork. It's very difficult for somebody as unorthodox as Basharat, but he's got to try and put a beat in the step. So in between the steps, in between the footwork, even the strike, leg kicks, takedown attempts, he's got to slow Basharat down. Basharat at the moment is just implementing his own footwork at will. He's not really worrying too much about anything coming forward towards him or the threat of the takedown. And look at that nose for Marco Zanetti right in front of his Dean. It's gushing blood. That's going to be affecting his breathing, his cardio. Nice kick there from Zanetti. Just that's what I was talking about, kicking the legs. off speed. Yeah, he wants to kick the legs out, much like we saw MVP and Douglas Lima, to kick that lead leg out, to try and disrupt the balance in the base, get this fight to the ground, and look to implement his ground game. And of course, MVP, one of the most famous products of London Shoot Fighters. Oh, nice low kick there from Zanetti. Really timed that, Dean, as Basra angled away. And Zanetti is getting a foothold, literally, in the fight with his feet. There's no doubt about it, this is the toughest test yet for Basharat. Oh yeah. Nice knee attempt there from Zanetti in the clinch. There's that low kick again. Oh, that's hurting Zanetti. You can see he limped off on that. He might have to opt to change stances here. A range of kick attacks from Farid Basharat. 
into the body. He mixes it up so well. This he is brings the leg back so fast. And I allude that to his flexibility from his taekwondo and his point fighting system. He's got so much flexibility in his hip. He can rip the leg back out of danger and use the footwork if he needs to or continue to. Oh, hey! Oh, rolling thunder from <laughs> Farid Basho at the end of the round. So exciting. Oh, <laughs> fights. Zanetti's landed some good low kicks. And you get the feeling if you can get a bit more pressure and maybe even put Basho on the floor, this could get very interesting. Here we go then, round two. Mark Heath, Dean Midhat, live with you around the world. Swing and a miss there from Rashford as he goes back to that calf kick. Zanetti can time that leg kick and, and try and check it and then immediately shoot. He's going to have more success there because Basharat's going to effectively be on one leg. It'd be easy to take him down. Nice left hand there from Basharat as he switched stances. That was beautiful. Zanetti, hey. I think, is getting a bit more confidence now. He's narrowing the distance. But it's confidence with fight IQ. He's not showboating, he's not putting himself in unnecessary danger. He's, he's really just being calm and concise and precise, like a sniper. This is some high level exchanges. Both guys really switched on, you know. Oh, the other hand shot. That was a sick body shot, wasn't it, from Farid? Mixed that up beautifully. Sunk the right hand into the solar plexus of Zanetti. And you can see straight away, there's a huge. Oh! A huge head kick from Farid Basharat. He follows up with punches D. He's looking for the finish. He's looking to drop these elbows from the top position here, looking to knee slice through. Zanetti doing a good job of controlling the posture here. He's trying to prevent Basharat from elevating up to the sky and gaining more power. Basharat potentially looking to threaten the mount. He might look to disengage if he can get his head free and keep this one back to the feet. Explosion from Farid Basharat, detonating shin to chin, rocking Zanetti, putting him on the floor and then following up with punches. And you've got to think now, is he going to disengage or is he going to continue with this course of attack? It's difficult for him to disengage with the uh, the kind of lazy half guard of Zanetti. You can see there the right leg. He's kind of using the butterfly hooks now. This is what Zanetti's good for. He's great use of utilization of the butterfly hooks. Huge ground and pound here from Farid Basharat. He's landing bombs on the floor. Zanetti moves well. Zanetti's tough, man. He'll get straight back to his feet as we've seen. He, you know, he's not going to quit early on like that. Here we go. He's wobbly though. Look at this. Yeah, he's Zanetti's definitely wobbly. wobbly. He's, he's not recovered. His mask. His face is a mask of blood. Basharat's he's really wearing the damage. He's got a capital. He's going to the body. Look for him to go to the body, then up top again. Oi! Oi. He's going to go high now. He's going to fake low and go high with that kick. Absolutely. He's, he smells blood in the water like a shark. Zanetti is in trouble. He's just backed up against the fence. He doesn't know what to do. Basharat comes forward. There's that low kick again. Surely we're going to see him go up top in a minute. That switch stance left hand again does that so well, Farid Basharat. Zanetti's still in there, though, man. Zanetti's getting busted up. These four ounce gloves, very different to amateur gloves. They really do consolidate the damage on the face. You can see the damage being worn by Zanetti. I really like the way Basharat's going to the body now with frequency. The jab and the sinking the right hand in as well, mixing it up beautifully. And you know, he knows Zanetti is hurt, and surely he's going to go up top. Zanetti's I mean, he out. hasn't even faked to take down, eating the legs, nearly losing his legs with the leg kicks. He's got to make sure that he's even faking the takedowns, like feigning, you know, like big head kick as There's well. that head kick. Big Oi, a flying knee into the clinch. There Zanetti's on the takedown, though. Basharat looking to pummel now, circle off. He's going to try and gain some distance between him and his opponent, force the head and circle off here. Unhooks the key, beautiful work. And it's got to be disheartening for Zanetti. He had a hold of that leg, he had the cage behind Basharat, and he still couldn't finish the takedown. Zanetti's still in there fighting, though. What a warrior he is, because he was badly rocked by that head kick. Basharat just now looking to find that, that killer blow. Again, goes to the body. He's using that to set up something else. Spaker, he's using the uppercut as well to deter the level change if Zanetti decides to close range. Big flurry there from Zanetti, they're still fighting this dog. And a proud Italian coming from Rome, a fighting city, a gladiator, the Colosseum of course. They build warriors in Rome, and that's certainly what Marco Zanetti is here tonight. Hey, nice right hand from Zanetti. He's timing that now. As soon as Basharat moves with the feet, whether it's to switch stances to fire a kick, 
Zanetti's looking to time that right hand. So amidst all the chaos here, the, the busted up face, the body shots, the leg kicks, Zanetti's still looking for a target. He's still consolidating this information and, co and coming up with a game plan. Yeah, he's really showing his toughness, Dean, is what he's doing. As you say, he's busted up, but he's not stopped looking for a way to win this fight. As we approach the end of the second round, Basharat shows the spin, and there we go. So Basharat landed the big head kick in that round, yeah, that means anything can happen as we go into the third and final round. Really, really good fight here, Contenders 29. Yeah, but these four ounce gloves as well, like you said, anything can happen. And uh, getting a little check. So you're going to look at the, the foot, is it the foot? The calf? Maybe there's some swelling there. Medic in to check. Zanetti's going to say he's fine, he's a fighter, he's going to want to fight. Here we go. He could have his toe hanging off, he'd say he want to fight, Dean. So here we go, third and final round. Referee down overhead, he gets them back into action. Farid Basharat, Marco Zanetti, contenders 29. No nice touch jabs either, like all about business, these two. Always about getting after it, trying to get ahead in the game. Nice skip back. If, if Zanetti can try and check those, it's going to enable him to fire quicker. You know, if he's skipping back, he's skipping out of range. Nice body kick from Basharat. Oi! That was close from Zanetti. Good reactions from Basharat. I'm really impressed with the range of kicks that Basharat's got. He, he, he drills them all over, doesn't he, Dean? To the so legs, he's turning the, body. the kicks on as well. Man. Yeah, man. I'd like to see him go up high a little bit longer and use that to fake because Basharat, he pulls the hands up nicely, but he tends to lean back ever so slightly. A correct technique in Muay Thai to, as a lean back for the kick. But what that's going to do is leave Basharat's legs underneath him so Zanetti can change the levels, look for the singles of the double legs. Zanetti certainly needs to land something in this third and final round. Rocked in that second round. Zanetti proving to be a very tough customer here for Bashara. Big oh, body shot. Beautiful shots to the body there. The left hook to the body. Nice work. And then he mixes it up, goes back up top. Farid Bashara showing the full arsenal. Oh, a question mark kick as well as he's starting to turn it on. But Zanetti's not going anywhere, man. His chin is made of iron. And here we go. What's this for? A little bit of a warning. I think we've got some members of the entourage, maybe uh, a bit too close to the cage for Dam overhead he's liking. And straight back in. Bashrat again goes back to the body. Bashrat's trying to bring the hands down of Zanetti. He's looking for that head kick, he's looking for that right hand. He's very patient. <laughs> Jumping, split, flying knee. So athletic. Back from the jab from Basharat. Look at the stance switches, the movement of Basharat. He's not going to walk onto anything silly. You know, he knows he's fighting a guy that's dangerous on the ground and indeed with his four ounce gloves on the feet. He's not really taking any chances here, but he's he's amounting the damage up. He's busting up his opponent. He's evading the shots. You can see, I mean, there's there's no marks on Basharat that we can see, apart from the blood of his counterpart yeah. in his chest. And the white shorts of Zanetti now starting to stain up with the blood from his face. He really is damaged that face, that nose, but it's not bothering him. I'm sure it is bothering him, but he's fighting through it. The heart of a warrior fakes the takedown. That was kind of half-hearted, though, Dean. Nice again, ripping that left to the liver from Farid Basharat. This experience of Zanetti is that that body shot hurt him. That's why he come forward to deter Basharat from coming in. His body shots are finding a home. Oi, leg kick. Zanetti's so tough though. Look at the welt. You see the welt on his on his lead leg. That's what they was checking. There's a huge hematoma on his lead leg, Dean. His leg is misshapen. And that's from all those low kicks from Farid Basharat. Yeah, that shin bone slamming into that muscle and tendon tissues is going to promote the response. Oh, yeah, and then he throws it at the head of Farid Basharat. Nice. Zanetti's a warrior through and through. Yeah, man. That is a big, big bruise on the shin, the lead leg of Marco Zanetti. And I'm sure he's not feeling it at the moment, but he's going to feel that tomorrow. What a warrior he is, though. And again, he throws it. 
really impressed with Zanetti's toughness, Dean. Yeah, I'd say he's an IMAF veteran and, and coming up through the ranks of the IMAF, you know, it's a very tough competition against the best in the world. You travel, you train hard, you have oh, oh, multi multiple fights in the week. There's no, no doubt about it, the IMAF churn out some very tough amateurs. Farid now looking if he can get the finish. Nice uppercut there from Farid and he separates. Under a minute left. Can Basharat find the, the winning shot? It's going to take something special to finish Zanetti here, I think. Basharat's the type to pull something out the bag. He's getting here, the 10 second clap, or here is corner. And he'll look for something quite oh, easy just to finish the fight. Look at the left hook. Sickening shot again to the body, the right hand this time from Basharat. Oh, oh he goes up top. Zanetti rocked. Is, is he closes in for the finish. Basharat oh, hey. still looking for the turn of world kick. Wow. He injures his prey and then closes in for the kill. Zanetti's still standing there again. Oh. That hurt him. You see his hands drop there, Dean. Can he get to the end here, Zanetti? Farid Basharat stalking in for the kill. Ten seconds left. This is crazy. I'm expecting that to, at the end of this round for someone to... There we go! He landed the rolling thunder. Unbelievable. Goodness, what an end to the fight, and what a fight to start Contenders 29, Dean Mita. Well, ladies and gentlemen, after three hard-fought rounds, we have a unanimous decision. Your winner in the blue corner, let's hear it for Farid Basharat.